Hey everyone, it's the Eclectic Candyman here today with a Craftsman made in the USA, mostly, new older stock, Eclectic haul that I brought in. Let's check all this stuff out. Alrighty, so I have various items here that I have purposely purchased over time and I want to share it with you so I can actually begin to start using this stuff. Because as I always say, whatever I buy, it's not for collecting, it's for using. Now, before I get started, put a comment below which one of these things here you think is my favorite out of the bunch. And it was a close decision, but there's one in particular that I'm really, really happy about. All right, in no particular order, let's start off with this catalog that I picked up. Now, this isn't any old Craftsman catalog. This looks like to be almost like a vendor supplied catalog. I did get this. I had not seen this before, so this was not in a Craftsman store. And as you can see, it's got the, the rings, so it could have been in a binder with other parts catalogs. This is from 2004, 2005. I did get it recently, and I have already shown it in one video, the one about the long needle nose pliers and the Craftsman versions of it. But what's really cool about having a catalog like this, 2004, 2005 was kind of in the heyday of the USA made Craftsman line. So if you're trying to find a part number on something that you want, then you can come in here and find it and then look for it later. Like I always liked these two utility carts and now they're impossible to find. I wish I had one uh, for the garage. They've got um, all the different master sets, and they talked about, you know, the part numbers that were within them. I mean, look at that. All the breakdown you can get into. So we've got all the tool sets. Let's see what else is in here. You know, all the ratchets. So, you know, if you wanted one of the Craftsman Professional or one of the Thin Teardrop and you needed to know, they're sorted by the quarter-inch drive tools. They have the different sockets, ratcheting sets the um you know the different pliers that like i mentioned i had shown some of these before so you know there's some of the long needle nose black and gold another popular item you know all the red and black uh the the uh, different vice grips uh some of the specialty tools you know getting into the power tools uh we had the pneumatic tools and then all the way to the end so this to me was just really helpful it was a a, a little expensive i guess i don't know i think i paid about 30 dollars for it which for a catalog is kind of stinky but i had never seen it before even though it says craftsman professional on it it's much more than that it's the entire line so uh this is a great ad for reference and you'll see it again on the channel all right next up this little craftsman professional magnet and so these are the telescoping magnets this one telescopes from five and a half inches to 25 inches with a two and a half pound lifting power rating on it. The part number is 946948. Let me tell you about these things. I'm sure you all have already used them, especially if you work on cars. I have this one that's a much heavier duty one that I got. It, um, it's also, I believe it was even a, a Craftsman Professional but this was later in the Sears era. I think I got this in like 2018. And I don't know why, but these are another one that are absolutely ridiculous. Like I saw the three set of these, I guess that's the complete set on eBay. They wanted like, I don't know, 200 bucks or something. Absolutely outrageous for a pickup tool. I mean, I'm all about craftsman tools and this one is made in the USA. Although here's one of the starting of the global components which is very often found nowadays in the stanley bleck and decker craftsman tools that you find at like lowe's and ace and things of that nature so this was kind of a, a primer to that but this one i think i got for i don't know 20 bucks which to me was not that bad because i get a lot of mileage out of it in fact recently i was changing a head gasket on this old bmw that we have and one of the bolts dropped down into the dungeons of nowhere in the engine bay. So I pulled this thing out, got under the car, rooting around, couldn't see it. And it's like fishing for a prize. The bolt finally, after 
30 minutes of looking for it, you know, got onto the end of this and I was able to pull it out. So having various sizes, you know, cause sometimes this is too big and you need something smaller. This is a fantastic tool. And listen, if you have a craftsman line of tools and you can't find these, you know, sometimes it's just better, you know, the Harbor Freight, the Amazons, just get the utility tools you need. I just got fortunate on this one. So that's pretty cool. All right, next up, I've got two sockets here. They're both half inch 12 point standard sockets made in the USA. So looking at this first one, it is a 7 16 inch G2D series, part number 34582, fantastic condition. This one took me a while to get because this is the smallest size that was offered. I wish it wasn't laser etched. I've talked about that before. I, I, all of my sockets are the non-laser etched, what I would consider the traditional Craftsman made in the USA. Sometimes that's what I got to do because I'll still take USA, but I have to get the etched because this was again later in the USA line and these are a little easier to get. Fantastic socket. And then the other one is the complete opposite end. So this is the largest size, another Craftsman etched but it is made in the USA, the one and three sixteenths inch. I'm gonna tell you right now, this one I could have potentially used when I was working on like a sink nut that was very large and I didn't have a socket big enough. This, I believe, was the size I needed, so I tracked one down. Normally, these are in horrible condition. This one, not too bad. It looks like it's just got, been sitting for a bunch of years. There's no real rounding like it was in inside of anything or used. Uh, too heavily, maybe just rolling around in the toolbox there. This is the best shape that I had seen, and it is part number 34583. Again, 12 point, half inch, Craftsman made in the USA socket. I have a video where I reviewed these Aries magnet holders, and also where I was filling out my half inch set. So where these end up going is now I've got the 7 16 and then back here in the back is the 1 and 3 16 So that will nicely go right there. That's always nice to do. Could I buy these from Snap-on or something else? Absolutely, but I wanted to have Craftsman. The ones remaining, 3 8 and 1 and a quarter, this was an extra slot. They don't actually make those in the Craftsman line in a 12 point half inch socket another thing just to point out you might be wondering you know why i do the six point versions well the reality is with a six point half inch socket you really already have that if you have an impact set and half inch impact set are obviously six points so do you really need a chrome set on top not really i may do it someday the six point line from craftsman and the half inch they are much fewer in sizes. It's select and limited between metric and standard. I don't have any of them right now. I think I'll stick with the 12 point and then use six point if I need it. It would use an impact socket. So I've got those two and now I'll take that out of the way. All right, next up, this right here, <laughs> kind of interesting. It's just a seven and a quarter new blade for this old corded craftsman saw that I have. The blade has worn out because I was using it for decking and I needed a new one. So naturally I said, well, let me get a craftsman one. And you can get craftsman now at Lowe's or Ace in that, in that size. But I went and got one of these. This is actually part number 932255, 40 tooth carbide. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not gonna do this again. First of all, these things, if you're really cutting through a lot of wood, for those of you that work with wood a lot, they don't last that long. Um, so it's not like you're always seeing the Craftsman logo or it's anything in particular special. This will get worn out real quickly. Uh, like I said, it's not made in the USA. I didn't really pay a premium on it. I just got it. I wanted to throw it in here that I did get it because I think this thing is still like 15 or 20 years old. New older stock still has a cover on it. I'll throw it on that saw. It'll work well, but next time I'll probably just get a new style Craftsman or Diablo or whatever. Everybody loves the Diablo 
saw blades. And so um, those are really good. But anyway, this is kind of cool. That's why I said Craftsman USA-ish kind of uh, poll here. Let me do the other one real quick. Now, if you really watch the channel closely, you might notice this set back here, which is a 3 8 inch drive, nine piece impact socket set in standard sizes, part number 95, excuse me, 915880. The reason I say, if you really watch the channel closely, you might say, I think I've seen you show these before and you would be right. Now, I didn't fork out the money for the USA versions. In hindsight, eh, maybe. These are Sears Craftsman. This is not Stanley Black & Decker. So these are between five and <clears throat> 10 years old. Uh, if you happen to have one of those rare Sears around or you might catch these online still. But what I did is I made a bonehead move with the set I got. The set that I got and I had shown previously had just a smidge of rust on it. So what I did was I used a bit of evapo rust on the ones that had rust, but I left them in way too long. I mean, that's the way you learn the hard lessons. Evapo rust is great, but it is not great on black oxide. There's one in there I didn't use. Uh, basically completely ruined the look of the sockets. Functionally, they're brand new. Um, and so you might say, well, that's wasteful. Why don't you just stick with those? They're fine. And you are 100% right. These will work. There's nothing wrong with them. The case is fine. There's nothing structurally wrong. They just look like garbage. But I got this for a super good deal. I, I think like 15 bucks maybe. So that's a brand new set. And what I think I'll end up doing, honestly, because these are brand new, I'm going to give them, I'll probably drop them off at Goodwill or uh, better yet, Habitat for Humanity. Because if I drop these off at Habitat for Humanity, somebody can have them for a couple of bucks or maybe they'll give them away and uh, you know this will help somebody out. So my bonehead move will help somebody else. Uh, not worth selling these, these are not USA made, so um, this will go to help somebody else. My mistake, somebody else will benefit from it. All right, last two things here. Let's start with this absolutely beautiful, this is a lot of what I do on the channel, the Craftsman New Older Stock has the hanger. 3 8 inch drive, basically Craftsman Professional is what you would call this. Part number 944833. This has the extra long handle, still has the barcode tag on it. It is made in the USA. Again, 3 8 inch. This is absolutely awesome. This may be one of my go-to ratchets because this series of ratchets, which I do have a video on the channel where I got the quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch very early on, is probably my most used set. Now, when it comes to the three eighths inch ratchets, my go-to around the car is this flex head, which I also have on the channel when I got this. Now, as far as length, these two are just about identical. Actually, the flex head is still a little longer. The reason I like the flex head, yes, I do like the flex head because it offers that uh, flexibility to get into unusual angles and spaces. But really what I like is the extra leverage. So oftentimes I'm not into the half inch size because maybe it's like a 10 millimeter bolt. I don't want to strip it or crank down, but it, so I'll use a 3 8 inch, but I want the extra leverage not necessarily going to use a breakaway bar or something like that. So I really like this one, but I don't always need that flex head and it doesn't have a lock on it, although it stays in place pretty well. This one I had my eye on, was able to get a pretty good deal on it. And so this tag will come off of it and it will go directly into the toolbox. Like I said, I have the standard size one and these are uh, a little bit extra long. In fact, if I compare the standard one, you can see the additional length that it has there for the additional torque. Now, sometimes you might need a shorter ratchet so that you can get into tighter spaces or just prefer the traditional one, but this extra length is uh, gonna be pretty nice. So I really like this one. This was a great pickup and it will certainly get used by me when I'm working on anything 
you know, car, motorcycle, small engine. Seems like these days small engine is what I'm doing the most because just my own equipment, just pressure washers, uh, leaf blowers and weed whackers and all that stuff. They just, they just wear out after a while and I'm constantly needing to make repairs. That was almost my favorite item in everything I got, but it is this nine piece impact socket set. Now, this is an interesting set. So what it is, is it's a 3 8 inch drive metric deep set Craftsman made in the USA, new older stock. It does look like it sat in somebody's toolbox for <clears throat> quite some time. I mean, that's, uh, uh, but this is going to be pretty typical because this is definitely like, you know, this logo and branding right here. You're talking about 90s or early 2000s when this set would have been sold like this at Sears. It's even got the hanger, so it would have been, you know, potentially on a rack at Sears like this. But what's interesting about this set is all this stuff, for the most part, like I have my eye on it. Like I really knew that part number and I wanted that one. Okay, maybe this was a maintenance item. That was a mess up. <clears throat> this one, kind of looking at, but they were so expensive. Okay, this one... This one fell into my lap, but usually with the sockets, I know what I want and I go after it. But I never really was into the 3 8 inch drive deep socket set. But I'll tell you, since I have started to use this electric tool, which I've gotten within the last year and did a air versus electric tool video on my channel, which has the 3 8 inch anvil on it, I'm using this more and more and it's actually got a ton of torque. So now I've gotten more into these 3 8 inch impact sockets and these are going for a silly price too, uh, like on eBay and online. But this set, I think I picked it up for like 60 or $65 and normally it's double that. And this again, made in the USA, even if you were to go out and get like a a decent import set now for three eight inch drive in a case. I mean, you're still going to spend 20, 30, $40. So to have a USA set, I wasn't that far off. And this is just a plus. I mean, this is so awesome. Which one do you think is my favorite of these? Of course, this 10 millimeter, this is going to be great. Again, you're working in the engine. You got to take off a series of 10 millimeter bolts, like I was talking about, re replacing the valve cover gasket. You know, this would have been fantastic to get in there. So in here we have the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19. So one skip with a 16 millimeter right there. But other than that, this is an excellent set. I was really happy, great price. I did not have my eye on this particular set. But now that I have it, I'm super enthused. This is going to get a lot of use when I'm using those electric tools. And again, I honestly, I'm newer to the electric scene. Maybe I'm a bit behind, uh, definitely because I'm not a pro. But, you know, I had always been using either hand ratchets or air tools. And if I was using an air tool, it was half inch for anything impact. I did get a 3 8 inch imp impact, but it was pretty weak. And I was just using, again, like 3 8 inch socket for them, the standard sockets, not the deep sockets. So pretty happy to have that set. And it turns out, like I said, these are pretty sought after, like if, especially everything metric. Metrics always these days is going for much more than the standard, um, just as all cars, domestic and import, use metric bolts and almost everything, lawn equipment and everything. But... The metric sets tend to be, especially in good condition, you know, normally might pay 150. So I don't know, I, I kind of lucked out on this one and pretty happy with it. All right, so just putting those two there. This is the array of what I got, my eclectic haul. Little bit of a backstory on each one, why I wanted it. These will all get put to use right away in the toolbox, on the saw, used for reference. Hopefully I don't lose too many bolts in the engine bay but that'll come in handy. And if I'm doing any kind of work and these sockets come in handy, I will definitely use them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I have a lot more videos about Craftsman made in the USA, new older stock. Make sure to check those out and hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, this is the Eclectic Handyman. We'll see you later.